crystal with pineapple papers and it is the 24th for 30 days of sketches so we are using this amazing page maps sketch and um, I am also using a mood board from Paper Issues. So for the month of September, Paper Issues is doing all mood boards as their pop-up challenge. And it's super fun. You can, you can take so much or so little um, inspiration. And so we are basically doing the decades. So this mood board is from 2010 and I am using it like crazy. So I am starting with the first um, photo in the upper left hand corner with that starburst and I am using this Vicki Booten color study paper with the starburst on it. The background paper is also from Vicki Booten Color Study. And I'm going to be documenting three photos of my son's broken leg. So um, I totally understand that's not everybody's cup of tea. So if the pictures bother you, I'm really sorry. Um, and you can just move on to another video, but I wouldn't watch tomorrow's either because that's when it's all fixed. Um, so I apologize if if that um, is an issue, but I really feel like this was an important part of our life and it needed to be documented. So that is what I'm doing. So I start by cutting down that starburst and I quickly realize that I cut it down too small. Um, so I'm using three photos instead of the six. Um, but I realized that, oh, look, it's supposed to go all the way to the top and all the way to the bottom. Um, so I am going to washi tape this paper back together. And you can see if you look really close, but you would have, you would have to look really hard to kind of find where it was joined. Um, and I'm just using some washi tape. Uh, I, I don't tend to use washi tape, um, very much like on the front, but I tend to use it a lot on the back. So <laughs> this is where my washi tape is going. So, um, I don't, I don't think one of the prompts for, uh, scrap timber is washi, which actually is probably, um, really good because, um, yeah, I would probably fail. But speaking of failing, uh, I totally failed. I, I just now, while I'm doing this voiceover, I'm looking at the prompt for today and it's wood veneer. And I'm looking at my layout and I don't have any wood veneer on my layout. And I don't know why, because I love wood veneer and um, I have lots of it. Um, so I'm contemplating putting it uh, back on, but um, I really like how this turned out. So I might just leave it and, you know... This, this will be my first for sure fail for the prompt for the month, which 24 days in, I figure, is not terrible, right? Um, so I go ahead and I piece back my paper together and then um, adhere my photos. And um, then I am going to grab these light bulbs. Uh, they're paper clips from, uh, I think they're from Hobby Lobby. And so in the mood board, every, there's a couple of like really bright. And I was like, oh, bright, like, like a light bulb. <laughs> so that's where the light bulb comes in. My other thought was, um, yeah, this was not a bright idea for my son, um, how he ended up breaking his leg. So I kind of thought it was a little tongue and cheek. There's a other, there's a couple other items that are a little tongue and cheek with this layout. Um, but I wanted to make this layout bright and fun. Um, I didn't want it to reflect the, the, the scared and, um, sadness that 
that I had when um, it actually happened. So that is why I decided to make this layout very colorful. Um, and obviously the photos are not colorful because they're x-rays, so they're black and white. In the sketch, there is that square that pops out. So I took the other piece of that uh, starburst paper that has all the dots on it. And that kind of mimics that bottom lower left square that kind of looks like dots. So I got, got some dots on the page. Um, the back brown paper was pulled from the middle bottom row with all those lines. Um, mine are just turned up and down. And so I am really trying to embrace this mood board like 100%. So I have the journaling spot. Um, and then I decided um, I was going to put this cute little bird on here for no other reason that he's cute and he's bright and colorful and that's that's just kind of what this page is. So the first part of my title is going to be colorful, which again is a little tongue in cheek because they're black and white photos. Uh, X-rays don't come in color. <laughs> so I am going to stick with um, the Amy Tan Brave and Bold and the Vicki Booten Color Study mainly for this layout. Um, and most of these items are still available in the Paper Issue Shop, so you could head over there and get your hands <clears throat> on that. If you do decide to go shopping, I do have a code. It'll be um, at the end. It's just my name, Crystal, um, and it'll save you 20%, so that's exciting. So I am going through the die cuts. I grab a frame um, and put it on the bottom. I also grab a die cut that says, oh no. I put that on a little eyeball, um, two uh, banners. One says feeling fine, one says one of a kind. There's actually a band-aid and it says ouch. So I go ahead and stick that on. Um, I put this little hand on, it says high five, which is kind of funny, like high five. I mean, if you're going to break it, break it good, right? Um, another sticker that says a true story. And then, um, over on the right at the bottom of the journaling, there's a sticker that says, what an interesting day, which really does kind of sum it up. Um, up in the right upper hand corner, I'm creating a cluster, um, a sticker that says do your thing, um, another sticker that says not good, um, a little lightning bolt, um, just to bring in that, that metallic-y green color. And then I am going to, um, add to my title. So my title is just be colorful. Um, it doesn't really make a lot of sense, but in my mind, it, it, it does. So, um, it, and that just fits like perfectly on top of the be colorful between, um, the, the bee and the, and the bird. Um, it fits really good. I did pull in a piece of, uh, chipboard that I can write the date on. Um, and put that down at the bottom. And then I am going to find a round, ooh, sorry, a round die cut piece that says nope. <laughs> and that's going to go up there at the top. I also added those puffy stars. Um, and those are my close up. So I hope you enjoyed this. I, I actually love how this turns out, which is good because it's hard to tell these stories sometimes. So make sure you check out everybody who is playing down below and go play along with this mood board in the paper issue shop. So remember to wear your crown and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.